So in this video I'm going to give you an overview of each of the four modules, so that's backup, archive, backup to go, synchronize, and um, just explain what they do and what the differences are between them and likely use cases of where you might want to use one product over another product. So um, I'm going to do some scribbling and I'm going to frame this um, description of the products in terms of customers network where they're going to have machines connected so this is going to be a local area network. Um, so let's start with backup. The backup product uh, is in the simplest case used to back up some storage to tape. That's the most likely use case. So imagine that we've got a, a server here, there's some storage attached to this server and there's some tape hardware attached as well and you can back up that storage to tape. <clears throat> Typically this is going to be LTO tape. Um, so this could be expanded uh, rather than using a single drive. The product also supports a tape library with one or more drives in and a number of slots. And of course you could have various bits of storage attached to the server that you're backing up. But so far we're just talking about localhost, this machine here being backed up, storage directly attached to uh, tape. Um, it doesn't have to be tape though. Backup product can also work with a disk. So instead of having a tape drive, you could provision some storage on disk and back up to that. Now the backup product is designed to be used for creating a disaster recovery workflow. So the idea is that you've got live data here that uh, users on the network are working with. And this data needs to be uh, secure so in the event of a damage to the building or damage to the server it can all be recovered back so typically a backup runs nightly and uh, saves either everything on the on the attached storage or incremental backups run and save the changes that have occurred that day now um, if I just erase some of this stuff here um, the backup product as well as being able to back up the machine that uh, it's connected to can additionally back up other servers on the network. So you might have a mail server and a database server and these both also have storage attached to them and this storage can be also backed up to the backup server to the same tape hardware and we do this by installing PressStore on these machines here in a, as a client which means that the software is running in the background but not actually configured and the server will then talk to these client machines over the IP network and allows the data to flow from these disks over the network to the tape hardware or to the disk hardware. Now I've spoken about backup being a product for disaster recovery. Um, typically a customer will also have a requirement for um, making space, not, not using up too much space on live disk storage, perhaps by using tape hardware as an archive medium and that's where the archive product fits in so let's just uh, make some space so now we're talking about archive and again let's think of this in terms of the, the local area network and um, so again we've got a server of some sort and we've got some disk storage attached to that which people are working from and we've got a tape library over here with a bunch of slots in it so the, the archive product is designed for making a workflow for moving data to tape or disk in a structured way that allows you to not have your disk storage filling up and therefore requiring that you spend a lot of money on additional disks because you're creating work, new work all the time. So with the archive product you can create a workflow whereby you can do um, a manual or an automatic archive whereby data based on some profile uh, or just a location like a drop folder the data can be migrated over to tape and then the web interface within press store can be used to recover files and jobs from tape uh, with the additional help of previews so you can see images and video and so on that you've archived and also metadata so you can search on metadata contained within files and allow that to help you locate and restore stuff back onto disk again. 
So this um, process of restoring with the archive product can be achieved by uh, regular users. So the Presto web interface can be configured such that non-administrators are able to log in and browse the uh, index. So part of what Presto provides is this uh, index, which is effectively a database that allows you to browse what's been stored on tape and recover it back to disk. Next, let's have a think about the synchronized product and explain what that does. So, um, again, on the network, the, um, the workflow is customer has some disk storage, which is a, a live file server. They may additionally have a tape workflow running on here for backup and archive. Uh, but the problem is that if this disk fails, then you're in a position where you need to buy a new disk and recover everything from tape back to disk, which may take days. And in the process of those days, you've got people not, not able to work from the server. So um, what you could do is, is commission a disaster recovery server and use the synchronized product to replicate the data between the live disk and the effectively the backup disk. Um, that may mean that you can then move your tape backup workflow over to the DR machine as well so that the live server doesn't have to be backed up directly. So this um, synchronization can happen at intervals of maybe two hours. So during the day, every two hours, any changes that are occurring to files on the live storage are being replicated across to another disk. So this means that if there's a failure over here and this disk stops working for some reason, your users can work from the disaster recovery disk and continue to work without much interruption until a point where this disk can be, uh, the original disk can be replaced and uh, then you can create a sync back in the other direction to repopulate the, um, the original live disk back with the data again. So Synchronizes basically doesn't use tapes, um, it's, a, it's a file and folder replication. Final product that uh, I'm going to explain to you is Backup to Go, and this is a workstation backup product. So everything that we've everything that we've um, discussed so far is really talking about servers and workflows for saving the data stored on your servers and securing it and replicating it. So with Backup to Go, you provision a Backup to Go server. Again, it's a machine running Presto and you provision enough storage on this machine to back up as many workstations as you need to back up. And then on the LAN or even via a WAN link, wide area network link to another network, uh, you can back up these workstations back to this storage that you provisioned on the server. And uh, backup to go is designed to cope with uh, network interruptions, machines shutting down, going to sleep, etc. Uh, et and whatever happens to the machines, backup to go running on the workstations will do everything it can to make sure that backups are placed back on the server whenever the machine is available to, uh, to read from its disk and write over the network. Backup to go provides its own web interface on each of the workstations from which the owner of the workstation can configure and monitor their own backups. And on the server, the administrator can view a list of all the workstations that are backing up, manage them, change what's being backed up, and maybe see when a workstation uh, is not able to back up frequently enough and then investigate why that might be. Okay, so there concludes my brief overview of the four modules and what they do and uh, I would now point you in the direction of other videos which take you through how to configure each of these products in turn.